G'day all. What a beautiful day this is. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for all the messages of support and care over the last couple of weeks as I, as I have had my own struggle with a virus, not the virus, fortunately. Let us pray. Holy God, you hear our words, you hear our hearts. Keep us in the grace of knowing that we are known and heard so deeply, so graciously, so constantly. In Jesus the Christ. Amen. Our Gospel reading for this Palm Sunday um, uh, comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 1. To 11. I'm going to tell a narrative retelling of this because it, it's quite beautiful and uh, you have your scripture before you but uh, which you can read but at this point just allow the words of this narrative this story wash over you. Matthew 21 verses 1 to 11. The disciples were finally near Jerusalem. Jesus had been telling them all along that they'd end up what they'd wind up here, the big city, the home of the temple. But it hadn't really seemed real until now. Everything seemed like a big deal. Things that were pretty ordinary seemed heavier somehow like someone else was lending them more weight. The donkey Jesus wanted, for example. It was such an ordinary thing, except some said it was a fulfilment of prophecy. So it felt important, like it was the most special donkey in the world. The donkey didn't even have a saddle, so they made one up from their cloaks. They knew some people said Jesus was a king. But they thought he looked more like a child playing dress up with a donkey instead of a war horse, a bunch of cloaks instead of a fancy saddle. They worried that the crowd might laugh. But people quickly joined in the spirit of this day taking off their own cloaks and jackets and spreading them out on the road that Jesus was travelling. The poor people, the ones who didn't have cloaks to lend, cut branches from trees and spread them on the road. How strange it was to see a mud muddy donkey trampling such beauty beneath its feet. And the crowd called him fancy names too. Son of David, the one who comes in the name of God. The prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. They felt so proud that others would, could finally see what they had known all along. This was someone who came from God. Someone worth following, no matter where he led them. Later they would reflect <clears throat> on when it was that everything had changed. Was it when he threw people out of the temple for abusing the poor? Was it when he told the scribes and Pharisees that they had forgotten God's justice? Maybe, if that woman hadn't anointed his feet, he would never have been arrested and tried and killed. It was impossible to tell when things had changed. But they knew one thing. When Jesus rode into Jerusalem on the donkey that day, they had never seen him look so brave. Matthew's narrative starts in the relative quiet of a hillside peaceful, and ends on one of the main streets of the city of Jerusalem in shouting and bustling of palms and pilgrims. 
a time of full of anticipation and drama. The disciples and the crowd lay down their cloaks for Jesus in a powerful gesture of adoration and self-sacrifice. This is a joyous entry into Jerusalem in the lead up to the important Jewish festival of Passover. Can you just imagine being there? The excitement, the voices, the, just the energy. You can understand that the disciples and the crowd are blissfully unaware of what lies ahead in the coming days. Even though Jesus had warned them time and time again. But they are caught up in the moment. And who can blame them? What a joyous moment it is. For us, our time of warnings is well past. We may have been some are like the many who ignored the warnings at first, but now there's no escaping it. We're caught up in the thick of a dangerous and uncertain time. But let's not dwell on that right now. Let us for a moment Join in that joy. Recapture that joy of that first Palm Sunday. Join in the excitement, the energy of Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. Rest in it for a while. Let it restore us, renew us, before we continue into the journey of Holy Week. This Holy Week is certainly like no other Holy Week. A Holy Week none of us will forget. Enjoy today. And may God keep you safe in these coming weeks. And may you all be richly blessed at this time. Amen. Amen.